bruh, <laughs> next week we're shooting a show called Meanwhile in the Field. The writer of the show, who is also the director of the show, who is also the star, the lead of the fucking show, is Matthias Kinker, a large black man from the Marine Corps, a Marine assaultman. One of the funniest motherfuckers I've ever known in my life. And he's, he's another Vet TV protege. Like, he's, he's coming up through Vet TV. We've been working with him for months to help him leave the Marine Corps and achieve his dream of being a filmmaker. And this thing's been in the works for months already. We didn't need all this horrible stuff to happen for us to make this decision. We just saw someone who was insanely talented with a work ethic and a desire to be a great filmmaker and to tell great military stories with Vet TV, and we hired the guy. And so, shooting right now outside is Matthias Kinker, um, first time director, who's also the writer and lead actor of Meanwhile in the Field, about the 82nd Airborne. So, um, at the very least, we can do our part to continue to provide opportunities um, for people of all colors and all genders. And uh, we're already doing it. And we're very proud and fortunate to do so because he's a fucking talented individual. It's not even about his color. He's talented. And he's got the drive and the ethic. So we're very grateful to, ha to have the opportunity to work with him. And uh, it's going to be a good time. Hello, everyone. My name is Matthias Kinker. And real quick, I just kind of want to go over how I got to where I am with Vet TV today. So there I was. Japanistan. Okinawa. God, I, I hated that place so much. Anyways, I'm sitting in my barracks room. I'm scrolling through social media. I come across Vet TV. I look at all their stuff, watch everything. And I was like, I love these guys. I love the content they created. That dark humor, that was right up my alley. I went to go show my friends. I was like, yo, you guys, look what I just came across, Vet TV. They make stuff about us and about the entire military and yada, yada, yada. And they were like, bro, you're just now coming across Vet TV? Oh my God. And I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> All I knew was that I loved Vet TV, you know, everything that they did. And I told myself, I was like, uh, that'd be great to work for them one day. So at this point, a few years ago, uh, I had already made a decision to pursue filmmaking. My goal was to work for Vet TV. So I dug deep and I hit up the one and only Donnie O'Malley. And to my surprise, this dude responded. Here's the thing though. I probably did exactly the same thing that everyone else does. I'm trying to get into filmmaking. You know, I got some ideas here and there. You know, what do you think I should do? What can I do to work for you guys one day? That'd be so awesome. Donnie responded with the same thing that I'm sure he tells everybody. You're interested in filmmaking. Well, as a beginner, in filmmaking, you need to start with a concept and see it through to completion. The difference between me and I'm sure a lot of those other people that he told the same thing was I did exactly that. Before they knew it, I slid in their DMs one more time and I was like, hey, I got my first short film made. I would love some feedback. What do you think? Then there was a second short film I asked him to uh, give me some advice on. And then it was my third one I made, then the fourth, then the fifth, then the sixth, then the seventh. All I'm saying is that I did not get here by chance. My passion was there. My drive was there. And just last night, we got done filming Meanwhile in the Field, the first project that Vet TV gave me. I wrote it, I acted in it, and I directed it. <laughs> Be on the lookout for Meanwhile in the Field. You are not going to want to miss this, all right? Oh, my God. If you haven't subscribed to Vet TV, subscribe. Okay, subscribe. If you don't, you're a bum. No, what? Bro, I just ripped my, oh, I just ripped my shirt.